Yes, I understand uh, that there was a, a distress call about halfway through yesterday at the Rescue Coordination Centre, uh, as they always do, um, looked at uh, ships that might be close to the scene. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, hundreds of kilometres uh, northwest of uh, Cocos Island. Uh, and uh, I understand that there were uh, two, two ships identified. Uh, one was a Ty Taiwanese uh, fishing trawler that got there sometime uh, late last night and also uh, a gas carrier uh, that was also there late last night. Um, now I understand uh, when the first ship got there, um, this vessel was still, uh, was still intact. Uh, somehow or other, during the process of uh, the interaction between uh, the ship and uh, the trawler and also the, uh, uh, the vessel, that, uh, the stricken vessel, um, there's been a capsize and people have ended up in the water. Um, in terms of our involvement, um, initially we were asked if we had anything close. The closest uh, ship that we had was 28 hours steaming uh, away from the, uh, the location of the stricken vessel. Uh, and more recently, uh, since people ended up in the water, we've been asked to provide uh, a P3 to assist with the, uh, the search and rescue effort.